There have been many civil rights battles, lost and won, from 1945 to present day. Even though we have made immense progress throughout the years, we still have more to achieve. The United States enforced segregation through a series of laws and policies known as the Jim Crow laws. These laws mandated racial segregation in public facilities such as schools, transportation, and housing, and denied African Americans their civil rights. Civil rights refer to the basic rights and freedoms that every individual is entitled to. It is all about protecting people from discrimination. South Africa implemented the policy of Arpathai, which was a system of racial segregation and discrimination. Arpathai laws enforce strict separation between racial groups, primarily between the white minority and the black majority, and denied black South Africans their basic rights and freedoms. India had identification cards to be able to transact and receive government benefits, and the caste line caused a social hierarchy passed down through families. The idea of nonviolent resistance refers to the process of attaining objectives like social change without resorting to violence or threats through tactics such as satyagraha, civil disobedience, symbolic protest, or economic and political non-cooperation. The South African people were subjected to severe burdens by apartheid, which prompted nonviolent resistance in addition to the extreme economic disparity, pervasive poverty, hunger, and illnesses the majority of South Africans battled on a daily basis just to survive, even as the country's economy grew. After Steve Biko's death, many people were participating in protests to bring awareness, and many died from shootings and other situations even though they were being peaceful. These events made people realize what black Africans were going through and that they had to make a change. In the U.S., there were various kinds of nonviolent protests, including marches, sit-ins, bus boycotts, freedom rides, and large-scale gatherings. The actions of the freedom riders and their opponents in the segregationist movement were clearly contrasted, and the injustice of racial oppression was brought to light. These developments had a profound effect on the civil rights movement. In India, more than 60,000 people were imprisoned as a result of the Gandhi's nonviolent resistance movement, which was one of his most notable and effective efforts against the British Raj. India's governmental changes, including Gandhi's nonviolent resistance, encouraged subsequent civil disobedience campaigns worldwide, which created a community with individual freedom, a democracy, and the rule of law work. This also contributed to the end of British rule in India. South Africa's governmental changes are the decision to abolish apartheid and the introduction of one major role, helping advance civil rights. These reforms eliminated the prohibition against mixed race marriage, dissolved segregation, and ended the deportation of black South Africans to tribal homelands. United States government changes were the Civil Rights Act of 1964 being passed giving outlaws prejudice based on national origin, racial background, color, religion, or sexual orientation. Another was the Voting Rights Act of 1965, which prohibits racial discrimination in voting. Since 1945, the United States has come a long way in the civil rights industry. African Americans have gained many rights, like the right to vote and the right to civil rights. For example, the rate of African American graduates has highly increased in the last 20 years. Just from 1982 to 1997, the number of black graduates went from 140,000 to 400,000. We continue to advance civil rights and persevere towards not only African Americans having rights, but for all people of color and different races. How do you think society has changed in terms of civil rights compared to the past? I think people in general have become more open to diverse, to other people from diverse backgrounds so, and accepting them. In addition to what we've accomplished, what do you think we need to improve on? I think the older generations especially could become more open to also accepting the way that like we are evolving as society you know thank you how do you think society has changed in terms of civil rights compared to the past um i feel like um women have more opportunities now they can they're capable of doing what men are capable of doing in addition to what we've accomplished what do you think we need to improve on um discrimination i feel like discrimination hasn't really changed that people are judged 
other people like based on their race and their cultures. Thank you. How do you think society has changed in terms of civil rights compared to the past? I think we made a lot of positive strides. Um, uh, when I was um, the sophomore's age, women could not serve in combat roles in the military. Um, and now they can do that. Um, I think we have, I think the internet has brought a lot of um, light to issues all over the world that are a problem that help people rally around those issues. So that's a great spotlight on things that need to be changed. Uh, I think we've got a, lot, a long way to go still but I, I'm proud to work at a school that's very tolerant. Um, and I think the general goal is for us to get together and to try to work towards being more tolerant of one another. Um, and I think the internet helps with that quite a bit. Um, from, from the time I was the sophomore's age to now, I mean, there's nothing that women can't do. We have, we have the WNBA, um, so we have a lot with sports and things like that, which is really nice. Um, we've had Native Americans go into space. Hispanics have made lots of strides in science and things like that. So um, I, I think we, We've got we've gone, done a lot, um, and I hope we keep on working towards the goal of being tolerant and understanding one another. Thank you. How do you think society has changed in terms of civil rights compared to the past? Uh, I think we've done a lot of good over the years, um, especially since the '60s. Um, whereas, you know, like my parents and my grandparents grew up in an age where uh, there were a lot less rights for a lot of other for a lot of groups of different people. Um, and so we've worked over the years, over the last 80, 60, 70 years, to um, make strides for our different groups who are um, maybe the minority. Uh, and we have a lot of ways. We have a, a lot of ways to go. Um, um, I think, as Darcy said too, uh, I think that with the rise of the internet um, and social media, it has brought light to a lot of issues that people go through on a daily basis that maybe was not seen or heard of prior. Um, and so I think that's a good thing. Um, it, it lets us shed some light on some issues and then hopefully correct those issues. Um, so yeah, I think we've gone, we've, we've done a lot, but we do have some ways to go still. In addition to what we've accomplished, what do you think we need to improve on? Um, I think more and more uh, we need to work on civil rights for, I believe, the lower economic groups. Um, uh, there's a lot of things that disproportionately impact poor, and um, if we can fix those problems, then that helps fix a lot of other problems, um, especially with housing prices and homelessness on the rise. Uh, if we can give resources to those people, um, then it's gonna make a domino effect and help out everybody else. Yeah. So, same taxes too, which everybody loves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you.